Hello world, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome back to CodingScientist.com, the most special series, zero to hero series on ESP32, ESP32 CAM and ESP8266, IoT, AI and robotics. All this we are going to cover using this board. So we just began with the ESP32 CAM. In the previous lesson I showed you, I just introduced you to the ESP32 CAM and FD, FTDI programmer board, which is, which is mandatory. Without that, you cannot program your ESP32 CAM. I hope you guys are ready with that. And we will uh, go ahead with uh, wiring. So basically in this lesson, I will show you how to wire in order to program your ESP32 CAM module using FTDI chip, which is what you saw in the previous lesson. I showed you how it looks, right? So the ESP32 CAM, which is also called AI Thinker Development Board, if you, if you, once you buy it, you know, in the Arduino ID, it will detect as an AI Thinker uh, uh, Development Board, which can be basically programmed using Arduino ID itself, right? So, and also, I'll also show you how to use Thony ID for MicroPython uh, programming. So we can do MicroPython as well as C, C++ using Arduino. So uh, in this lesson, you know, basically we are going to upload the codes to ESP32 CAM using AI Thinker Development Board using Arduino IDE for now, for the next couple of lessons till you guys get hands on into the C, C++ coding. And then we will move into MicroPython code using Thony IDE and start building some projects as well. So the ESP32 AI Thinker module is a ESP32 development board with an OV2640 camera, right? And which also comes with a micro SD card support and onboard flash lamp and several GPIO pins to connect to multiple sensors or peripherals, right? So however, it doesn't have a built-in programmer. That is the unfortunate part. So you need a FTDI programmer to connect to your computer and upload the code. So take a look at this circuit and you can pause this video, do connect it according to this circuit only. Do not interchange the wire. Be very, very careful. Take a look at this drawing, understand it, look at each and every you know, pins of uh, FTDI programmer board and which is getting connected to your ESP32 CAM board. So make sure that your wiring should perfectly match this particular line only, right? So, uh, you know, to upload the code, of course, you need uh, the FTDI. And then the most important aspect, guys, there is a jumper actually, which is, which is there as part of your FTDI. If you take a look at the picture behind me, and take a close look, there is a jumper, 5 volt and 3.3 volt, there's a jumper, right? So you got to be really, really careful. So many FTDI programmers comes with a jumper that allows you to select either 3.3 volt or 5 volt. Make sure the jumper is in the right place to select 5 volt for programming purpose, right? To upload your code, it has to be in the 5 volt, the jumper, it, you have to just remove it and push it towards left. So there'll be three pins, right? So if you shift the pins, uh, take out the jumper and put it towards left side, that is your five volt. If you put it towards right side, these two will be connected, which is 3.3 volt, right? So try to understand this logic. Three fingers, three pins in your FTDI. So these two pins, if it is joined together, that is five volt. If these two pins are joined together, that is 3.3 volt. So you have to take the jumper out, connect it to these two, which has to be five volt for programming purpose only for uploading your codes, right? So go ahead and, you know, uh, build your circuit as per this, this particular wiring, keep the wirings ready and make sure that you have moved your jumper from the FTDI programmer to five volt. All right. Now this is, this is the layout of the wiring. If you, if you take a look at it, most important aspect guys, before even we start getting into the coding aspects, there is one unfortunate thing that the reset button of ESP32 CAM is just behind the board, which I'm going to show it to you now. Unfortunate part, right? So what happens is you cannot put it on the breadboard. It's just impossible because once you put it on the breadboard, you cannot press the button. So when you, when you upload the code, when you see the done uploading message, you need to remove the GPIO from zero from the ground, right? So, you know, that that's interconnected. So if you see the circuit drawing properly, 
if you if you take a look at uh, the circuit here there is you know there's a jumper in the esp32 where you need to use male to male jumper wire between uh, gpio 0 to ground this this is only for uploading the code right once you finish uploading the code you have to remove the gpio from zero and ground and press the reset button to run your code you have to press it or else the code will not get uploaded you have to press it and leave it for a second so that's where your code will upload in esp32 board we did similar thing we need to press the boot button and load it right it's almost the same way like same way we are going to do it in esp32 uh, cam but only difference is the the reset button button is at the back side let's take a look at the circuit again so make sure that you are ready with this drawing make sure that you have the jumper in the ftdi to 5 volt not on 3.3 it has to be in 5 volt and make sure that all these are connected for example esp32 cam ground pin should go to ftdi ground pin 5 wall pin to vcc 5 wall pin and uor to tx pin of ftdi tx and rx to uor and uot and gpio 0 to the ground pin now let's take a look at the way i built it let me just show you to you so if you if you take a careful look right so this is the jumper this is the jumper i'm talking about so you you can just remove it and put it in the 5 point in the 5 volt section and then unfortunately you cannot use a breadboard you have to leave it hanging like this so this is the way i did the shot between gpio 0 and uh, 3 and the rest of the pins are connected the reset button is at the bottom if you see at the bottom this is the top where your camera is placed right and this is the bottom at the bottom in the corner next to the win next to the win pin or five wall pin you can call it as a five wall pin this is the reset button this is what a small little button so once you are hooked up like this use a male to male jumper wire you know connect it to your ftdi programmer like this and other end of the ftdi programmer you can use a normal uh, you know micro usb cable to usb so this is the one which i am using it, it it's available anywhere in the market so go ahead and keep it keep this setup ready guys uh, in the next lesson i will show you how to set it up in your arduino ide and we will start loading our first test example and try to build something interesting to view from the camera we will get into the vision aspects from the next lesson onwards make sure that make double sure that you follow this particular circuit connect it with male to male jumper wires as i showed you just now keep it ready and make sure that you have your ftdi programmer connected to the 5 volt jumper pin and make sure that you have all these pins connected to the appropriate pins of between ftdi and the 32 cam in the next lesson we will start doing some programming with the examples and we will get into the vision aspects pretty quick. See you guys. Goodbye.